Hey, what's up guys? So this is going to be a quick video to hopefully help somebody else out that was having the same issues that I was. This is going to be an HP Z400 version 2. Uh, there's two different versions. There's a uh, first generation and the second version. Uh, the easiest way to tell is by your memory slots. This one right here has six slots for your RAM and then the other one has four slots, okay? So this also has an NVIDIA card right there which is this one and then you have the vga which is this one right here this was my main issue uh when i was troubleshooting okay i was trying to install windows 10 and it kept hanging while when it was trying to install um another thing that i noticed was when i was trying to connect vga uh to my monitor it wasn't picking up the signal so i was in there playing with the bios and it really wasn't working because this was still installed i'm assuming so after you know a pretty long night of troubleshooting, why it wasn't uh, letting me install Windows 10 when everything else over here worked fine? I installed all this maybe about a good two years ago, um, and my cousin wanted Windows 10 now, so I'm upgrading it to Windows 10. But this was my main issue, the video card. Uh, when I went to install the Windows 7, it'd go right through, but when I went to do Windows 10, it kept on hanging. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it did so that if you guys happen to have that same issue, all you have to do is remove this video card and you won't have any more issues so i'm going to go ahead and uh pop the disc in there for windows 7 so you can go so you guys can see that it actually goes right through and then we'll do the same thing with the windows 10. all right guys so i'm just going to hit f10 to get into my bios just so you guys can see this once we get in the bios the only thing that i changed was the setting obviously you'd want to get get it to boot to the uh, optical optical uh, drive first, then I got the USB, then the hard drives, okay? Um, even though this BIOS says that you cannot boot from USB, you can boot uh, from USB as well. I did it with the Windows 10 uh, when I figured out what the problem was. This version of the BIOS, I believe, let me see if I can find it. We are at 3.61. When I started off, it was at 3.57. So I flashed uh, the, uh, the BIOS uh, within the Windows operating system. It's best to do it within oh, let me go back over here it's best to do it this way but it wasn't even working on that when i kept putting the drive in they kept telling me that it was corrupted <coughs> excuse me and that there was no media present so i did it within the uh, windows operating system and it worked just fine so like i said just go over here and we're going to look at our boot order i got the optical drive first uh, when it comes to the storage options these are the actual settings that I have on here. Let me see if you guys can see that. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and back out of here and boot from the disk. So save changes and we'll boot from the disk. <clears throat> Hopefully this helps somebody, man, because I was, you know, up late trying to figure out why the heck it wasn't booting um, and going through. So we'll see what it does so you guys can check it out. And right now I'm, I, I am connected through a display port to HDMI. And like I said, the VGA wasn't working. So the reason it wasn't working was because that uh, card takes priority. So you can, this is Windows 7 64 bit disk that's in the actual drive. <clears throat> so we'll just go ahead and let that load up real quick. And as you can see, the windows is starting up to load up the operating system. And as you can see, we went made it to the actual install screen. So we'll go right here. You click install, and then it's gonna set up. You know, it's starting or whatever. And then just like always, you can go through your prompts right here, and then you can choose whatever you want to do. Right? Well, we can do custom, and then you can format the drive if you want to. But I'm not going to go that far because I already installed this operating system on this extra extra drive that I have in the bay. So from here, we're just going to quit it and I'm going to shut this computer down and we're going to put the Windows 10 disk in there. So that was the disk that I had on there. We're going to go ahead and put in the Windows 10 64 bit and it did the same thing with the 32 bit version. So I knew it wasn't the operating system that was giving me problems. So from here, we're going to go ahead and hit F1 to boot. And same thing, we're going to go ahead and try to boot up here. Oh, I missed it. Let's try this one more time. I'm going to shut this thing down. All right, 
guys, we're gonna go ahead and boot this thing back up. Sorry, that, um, somebody had messaged me on Instagram when I was trying to boot this up. So we'll go ahead and do this, F1, and I'm just hit enter so that I can boot from the disk. So once it boots from the disk, you're gonna see the Windows 10 logo. And pretty much all you're gonna do is see that and then after about a good three or four minutes, you're gonna see the circle just kind of appear and it's gonna stop and freeze. And that's due to the video um, card that you have in the actual machine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pause this video and I'll be right back as soon as that little thing pops up. Cause it takes about a good four minutes and I'm not trying to kill the video, make it longer. So pretty much that's all you're gonna get. It's gonna be like the little circle that's trying to load up right here and then your screen is gonna be stuck like that. I mean, I've actually waited about 30 minutes just to see if it did anything. It's just frozen. You know, it's not going to move anything from there. So after I started, you know, troubleshooting, I looked on YouTube and forums and stuff. People said change the BIOS settings or whatever. I did that. I flashed the BIOS. Um, and I did a whole bunch of different things that people kept saying. So finally, I just went ahead and removed that um, the NVIDIA video card. And uh, I was able to load up just like that. So I knew it was something driver related. So more than likely, whatever drivers are on there. Um, for that video card the windows 10 is either not catching it or you can actually slip you know um, some of those drivers within the ios uh, bootable drive that you make or the disc that you make to make it boot but if you don't want to do that this is going to be the easiest thing to do and it's going to work for you guys so i'm going to go ahead and uh, power this machine down and we're going to take out that video card and i'm going to show you guys that it's actually going to go right through the setup process um <clears throat> now like I said, this is going through a VGA, I mean, HDMI to, D, to display port. So let me show you guys just real quick. You do have the VGA. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's right here. The VGA is right here. Let me see. There you go. The VGA is right here. Then you got the display port right here. And that's how I got it connected right now. And it's obviously going to the NVIDIA card, which is the green one. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and power this machine down, and then we'll take it out. So I went ahead and powered the machine down. I'm gonna take out this one and we're gonna go ahead and take out this NVIDIA card. Okay guys, so now that the machine's actually powered off, I'm gonna remove the power cord. And there's a little green light in there that'll actually turn off. It's not in my camera view right now, but it's just turned off right now. So in order to do this, obviously you take off your little uh, cover right here. And you're gonna have these two little green things that's gonna lift this up. You don't need no screwdrivers or anything like that. Uh, you can do this by hand. So what you're gonna wanna do is just push this right here. Just push it up, or push it on, I mean. Let me see. Just like that. And same thing for the bottom one. Just push it in. And this little flap opens up, okay? From here, you have this little uh, thing right here. This is pretty much just holding it in place. So you can just literally just pull this out. <clears throat> Just go ahead and just pull it out and you can lift this thing up as you're doing it to kind of help. It has like a little locking mechanism in there. So just go ahead and do that and make sure that this isn't caught in there. And then I'll flip and just pull this thing all the way out. Just like that. So this is the NVIDIA card. NV295, if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can focus on it. There you go. And it has your display ports it doesn't have a VGA it doesn't have anything else is it specifically for your display port and then you have your HDMI I mean your VGA card right here you can put an HDMI if you wanted to in there um, I, I was gonna do that for him but he didn't want it so I just left it alone so now from here all we're gonna do is connect with the VGA cable which is this one because what I was using this one to HDMI let me show you guys the other end. So this is pretty much what I was using to connect my monitor. And now we're just going to go VGA to VGA. So this one. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this on the back. Let me move my camera so you guys can see this. We'll connect this one. And I'm not going to screw it in. It's not really that important. And then from here, I'm going to connect my power cord. So that's all connected and we're going to go ahead and put this up on the top here and start our, start the uh, boot process again and see what it does.
Okay, guys, let's go ahead and just turn this thing on. And we'll catch the, uh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change this to different input. So go over here, change it to the PC, and we're gonna hit F10. That's a little weird on the color, but it's okay. More than likely there's something, there you go. My little connection right here wasn't connected all that great. You can see, let me see. Oops, I fell out. Just give me a minute. That's why you wanna screw that kind of stuff in, but like I said, it's not that important. So I just reconnected that thing on there. I didn't screw it in, but like I said, it's not that important. So I'm gonna go back in here and look at my boot order. Same, same settings, you know. Um, I didn't change anything within the actual storage options either. It's all the exact same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and go back over here. Same changes and let this thing boot. And once it goes up, we'll go ahead and uh, start the process again. boot and I'm gonna hit return to boot for my optical drive. Go ahead and do that. Now you're gonna see the logo and as soon as the logo starts populating you're gonna see the circle and it's actually gonna start spinning. That's exactly what we need because if it's not loading then we're gonna have some issues all over again. But that is the fix and that is exactly what I did to uh, be able to upgrade this to Windows 10 without having to mess with anything else. And that's exactly what you're looking for. It took about a good, uh, I would say two to four minutes for it to actually start loading up. But as you can see, it's not hanging anymore like it was earlier. So once you see that, that's actually a really, <coughs> excuse me, really good sign. And uh, we'll go ahead and follow the prompts for the installation. And you're good to go. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next. Let me back up a little bit so you guys can see. It's kind of hard to record with, with your phone on a tripod. But go ahead and hit next. Install Windows. And the setup is starting. Like I said, man, that was the whole issue the, all along. I was troubleshooting that for hours on Saturday, trying to figure out why it wasn't working. Like I said, I went through the forums and they sit there and said that I got to change all these kind of bio settings or whatever. The thing is with the bios, everybody kept mentioning that you've got to turn off the secure boot, which yeah, most, more than likely on a lot of machines, you had to turn off the secure boot. But this version of the bio doesn't have that option. It's pretty much legacy only. So um, you don't have the option to turn off the secure boot to load Windows uh, 10 that way. So after I removed that video card, this was the actual uh, solution for that. So I'm going to hit next. And then just like always, just go ahead and accept the terms of use for the software. And you can do custom, format the drive, whatever you want to do. And then you can go ahead and install your Windows 10. And that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to share you know, this with you guys. Somebody out there might be having the same issue. So hopefully I saved you guys a whole lot of headache and uh, helped somebody. If anybody has any other recommendations, I feel free to leave a comment to help anybody else out. Um, but as far as for me, I am done with this machine. I'm going to get out of here and return it to my cousin. And I'm out. Thank you very much for watching and appreciate you guys. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, click the bell for notifications. Find me on Instagram and uh, Snapchat if you need some help issues, fire stick stuff. Uh, pay-per-view events sports for free via the internet fire sticks or whatever uh, message me let me know peace out